Okay, so hi guys. Um, this is my very first tutorial, so I'm super, super, super excited. And I hope I get a lot of views and comments and rates and subscriptions. And so first of all, this is what we're making. It's a pretty easy um, thing to make. It has two large expandable pockets with a coin pouch in the middle. So this should be pretty easy for the most part. So, um, hold on, I gotta do something real quick. Give me two seconds. I messed up on something, I have to fix it. Hold on! I don't have pausing on my phone, so I can't really pause it at all. Sorry, I had to fix that. Okay. So, I think we should get started. So, the things that you will need are, of course, your cutting mat. And maybe some scissors. A ruler. An exacto knife. Some Velcro. Your duct tape and a Ziploc bag. So, first of all, we're going to start with cutting the Ziploc bag. What the heck just happened? Oh well. So, you'll be needing your exacto knife and a roller for this step. So, um, you will probably need a uh, scrap piece of tape if you're a perfectionist and if you want it really really straight so I just ripped a small piece of tape and I'm going to line it up so that it's on the one fourth inch line so that I have one fourth of an inch of baggie Putting my ruler where the line is and holding it there. Take and cut along my ruler. So now the baggie is off, and you can use that for garbage or whatever you feel most comfortable using it for. This part I don't particularly use a ruler. Because I'm just cutting along this line. So, now I have it cut, then you're going to cut off, cut it, cut off, um, I mean cut it so that you have a four inch piece of it a little bit more because you have to cut some of this edge off so now you have this ziploc that will reverse I mean that will separate so first step cut out eight pieces of tape that are four inches long I have them already pre-cut so then you're going to take and put this on top of, like, not on top of it, but put it, like, you know what I mean. Oh, crap. But so it looks like that. And you're going to fold over the Ziploc onto itself, the duct tape. Turn this over. And stick the rest, the extra sticky down. Take your 
a second piece and line it up to the three inch mark and stick it down. Now you're going to take and turn it over and you are going to cover the rest of this with your duct tape. You probably could cut the next piece in half and that's what I'm going to do. You could use a roller, but this is just going to be really fast. And it's not going to show either. So then you lay that down. Cut off your extra. So you're going to do this one more time. Sorry, I'm trying to make this actually really fast, but it doesn't look like it will be very fast. Okay. Craft the edges. Make sure it looks nice and neat. Snap them together. I'm cutting them to match. So then I'm going to take another piece of tape. So um, you're going to cut another piece of tape. And cut it in half. So, so far we've cut nine four inch pieces of tape. Put half of it on the one side and fold the rest over to the other side. Open this up. Take your second piece and cover up the sticky on the inside. Then, you're going to snap it back together and, and secure the sides by taking a 3 inch strip and cutting it in half. Put half on one side and fold the rest over. Put half on the next side and fold the rest over. So now you have your Ziploc coin pouch part. Now we're making the expand holes. You're gonna cut eight three inch pieces of tape and four of them are gonna be your outside color and four of them will be your inside color. So you're gonna lay one sticky side up 
and the other one sticky side down onto this one with the sticky side up. And orange duct tape is a little bit longer than any other tape, so the Retro Owls isn't lining up perfectly with it, but that's alright. So, now I have these four pieces. Now you're going to fold them in half, making a crease. Then you're going to cut two pieces of three inch tape of your outside color. And you're going to cut both of those in half. Then you're going to cut, I mean cut one on each piece of tape. Lay it down. And do that to all four pieces. Then you're going to take your thing that's just like that and lay it on there so that the orange is with the orange and it is sticky and then so that you can fold it and do that so basically the first step of this is make sure you have this really long piece of orange and cut off the extra okay so then you're going to turn it over now it looks like this. Take your next piece and you're going to lay it, well you're going to fold this over, okay, and turn this so it's like on the orange and make sure you have the other piece folded over and you're going to lay that down there. This chair is so uncomfortable. And do that to the other side. So make sure that's folded up. Put on the orange. Okay. So now you have this kind of weird thingy. You know what I mean? And throw away your scraps at this point. Okay, and now we're going to make a sheet. So you're going to cut three pieces of your inside color that are nine inches long. Lay it down. And you're going to make a four inch um, half a sheet. with sticky still on the back. So make sure it's four inches tall. Cut off the edges. Then you're gonna cut three pieces of tape that are 10 inches long, instead of being nine inches long. You're going to line this up to be on a half inch line. Take a piece of tape 
and make sure it goes over the sides by half inch on each side and on the bottom even. And you're going to take and cover all the sticky. And I'm just not going to line this part, this one up. Okay, so now you will have that all covered. You're going to take and peel it up, cut squares out of the corner. And now you're going to cut off, um, um, pieces. I like my sides, my top and bottom to be one fourth inch long, one fourth of an inch long. And my sides to be... So I have the sides right. And so now I'm taking and folding over my first part here. So it looks like that. Then I'm taking this end and make sure it's facing the right side and laying it like this. And then I'm going to cut a slit. Our ends and fold up the piece. Then you're going to do the same thing to the other side. And now you're going to fold it like this and fold it up and I'm gonna lay my piece down at the end so I know where to cut again and fold it up now you probably can't see this very well but I think you'll get it and then I'm doing the same thing to the other side And then I'm going to fold on the sides. And um, trim the edges right here, however you trim them. And you just put half on one side and half on the and fold over half on the other. And um, don't forget to put your Velcro on. 
So that's my tutorial. Sorry I didn't get to finish. I'll see you guys later.